You become an actor in this country. A street cleaner or sebenzela umaspala has more rights than you and me. Renowned thespian extraordinaire. He's a voiceover artist. You hear him on your radio, in your car, at your homes, in your headphones, almost every day. Different radio stations, he does voiceovers in different languages. But seriously and foremost, he is a servant, as he says, of the Most High Yeshua. And yes, he is a successful voiceover artist. For those who would like to know how to start a career, and being a voiceover artist, and just being those people that you can buy more fire, more fire, brand new flavors, berry barking. Um, you've got berry bars and the original. Shout out my voice. <laughs> <laughs> He's also an actor. You've seen him in a lot of movies. You've seen him in a lot of feature films. You've seen him in a lot of um, television shows. And he's also a musician, for those who don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Kulu Mangoba Skenja. I'm one of you. Good to see you, bro. Good to see you, Putum Tala. Thank you for the round. Thank you for having me, man. Um, it's good to be on the Hustlers Corner. Sanbonani, uh, Um Yeah, it's been a long time coming, I think. Yeah. The last time I saw you, I think we had recorded a track. In well, Midrand. Yeah, yeah. And and in fact, speaking of Oh, which, no, the last time I saw you, I think we were no, with our kids. That, we went with our daughters. We yeah, were we having lunch out. at Papa Chino's with yes. our kids. Yeah. Uh, but speaking of that recording of that track, th nothing really came of that th then. Yeah. It was probably about two years ago. It's probably, I think it was um, just before COVID. Yeah. Maybe yeah, three, three, even three, more. Maybe yes. three yeah. and a half to yes. four years ago. Yeah. But what happened was, incidentally, mm. in December last year, Drum Pope and I finally got into studio at Universal and we, we, we did a track. Oh, nice. We did something. You must make more we music. We did something. We, we, yeah, we definitely. That's, that's, that's the plan. That is the plan, to, to, to make more music. Um, and you said I'm a musician. No, I'm a, uh, how did I write it there? What does that thing say? Funda. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll write Funda what you wrote. Yeah, Funda and the way. Renowned and, and thespian extraordinaire, voiceover artist, and mtulist. Thank you. <laughs> and but I, but I'll tell you what I like the most. The follower and servant of? Uh, oh, yeah. The follower and servant of the Most High Yeshua, Yamashiach. Yahusha Hamashiach. Yeah, Yahusha Hamashiach. Otherwise known as Jesus Christ. I like, I like the, um, the, mission, the mission statement that you say you've just adopted. I show people how they can change their lives by working smart how to combat unemployment, how to get financial freedom, how to live debt-free, and how to use an opportunity to work towards your dreams. I like that. Because you've been in this industry for a while, you've worked in Abantu for quite some time, you're a seasoned thespian, you're a seasoned voiceover artist. Yes, sir. Um, maybe before we get into how does one become a voiceover artist, is there a career there, etc., let's give them a background on, on, on your story. I'm interested in you sharing your story. We've been in the industry for, for quite some time, bro. Yeah. Um, I started, ooh, I don't even remember, 2000. Officially working as an actor was 2005, four, five, yeah. And I started. Um, I mean, I mean, Egasi. Yeah. Egasi, um, I'm born a Snawana clinic, a Soweto. I'm Sutra. Um, Raised Soweto and the Eastern Cape. Ekaya, Kusem Kanduli, Kukwaiman, Coffee Bay. It's a hidden gem of South Africa. You know, one of the least known hidden gems. Um, I, um, so I started um, initially coming out of high school. Well, let's start it this way. High school, when I was 15 years old, um, 
I was sure that I was going to play cricket. Okay, cool. Yeah. When I was 15 years old, I was sure I was going to play cricket for South Africa. Because that's, that was my thing. I was playing cricket at a very high level as a young boy. And then I dislocated my hip. Um, had an injury. Incidentally, playing basketball, of all things. You know, just a casual, social game of, of, of basketball. And dislocated my hip. And that kind of just changed my trajectory, you know. Uh, I didn't immediately accept that I couldn't become a professional cricketer anymore. But um, I then went on. Um, I realized, okay, look, if cricket is not it, God has given me with the other talent that I was always aware that I had growing up was my voice, singing, my singing voice. So I was like, yo, I'll, I'll become a singer. I'll, I'll do the music thing. So first thing I did coming out of high school, I, um, I went, I, I registered Midran campus at the time. Uh, but on, I did that only to please my parents because I told them, yo, I want to sing. And they were like, nah, you know. Um, and I remember as well, in my matric year, Tandiswa Mazwai gives me a call and she's like, Yo, Mzala, um, Lebu Am is in the country and he's auditioning for the first uh, Broadway production of The Lion King. And I think you should go, you'd be well suited. I'm like, Oh, okay, cool, yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd love to do that. And um, then she says, oh, but wait, hold on, wait. You're in matric right now, right? And I think she was, a, she was at Varsity, she was at Vits at the time, and she had just, she was still with Jackknife. Bongo Muffin hadn't even started yet. She was uh, still, you know, singing. Right? So then she says, look, before I send you, you need to understand something. If you cut the grade for, for Lebo M, you're leaving in September to go to the U.S., which meant I'm not writing my matric exams. So I didn't even take it to my folks. <laughs> I didn't even go to my parents because I knew what the answer was going to be. Pambene. Right? I call Broadway, you know, Ozawi, 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 Bona. So, um... I missed that opportunity. Ah, you missed out on Broadway. Yeah, I didn't. I, I then didn't go and audition. Cause it was yeah, I get you. Cause it, it was gonna put you in a position. Where even if you get it, you're still not gonna have. To, you're not gonna write your matric. Yes. But then, what do you do? I'm, I'm imagining now as a parent, cause then then as a kid, I probably I probably I probably would have. Yeah, I probably would have taken the same decision that you did. But there's a lot of people who would have jumped on to the opportunity with both hands. Broadway, bro. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, there's people who would have then, you know, just fought with their parents. Look, already I was a bit of a, you know, problem kid. Oh, you know? okay, okay, okay. I'd, I was already, you know, stressing my, my mama and my papa. So I knew, you know, they're going to be like, no, you're going to America. Already you are wearing your pants, sagging off the, your, you know, your bonisi, bunzako, man, so stupid to America. So um, I didn't bother. And something said to me, ah, you know what? If this opportunity is coming. Please pull the okay. mic towards you. You don't have to go to yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So something said to me, look, you know what? If, if, if this opportunity is, if an opportunity of this magnitude is presenting itself to you so soon, so early, you know, then surely big things are gone. You know, great things. Are, are, you're destined for great things within this field that you are now saying you want to do, entertainment, you know. Bearing in mind, like I said, it was sports first, which is still a form of entertainment. So I've always, you know, had the knack for entertainment. I mean, at... At the age of 11, I was dining with the Pollocks and the Rices and the Bachas. This is cricket royalty, you know, as a little black boy. I had 
um, Clive Rice at the time was comparing me, watching me with a bat in my hands, to, to Daryl Cullinan. Loved Daryl. You know, he was just the, the textbook batsman. Textbook test cricket batsman. And that's what, you know, that's what they saw in me as an 11-year-old. So, next injury, that dream is squashed. And then an opportunity to audition for Lebu M comes. And I quietly go, quietly. I don't tell the whole world. I don't share it with most of my friends. I'm just like, ah. you know, ah. I let it go. Who do I share it with, though? The, the friends that I did share it with um, were my music friends, the late TK. You know, um, and uh, there's another brother of mine. He's still around, Lunga Lohatebe, LK, you know. Uh, he won. If any of you ever, you know, followed Idols, We've had many seasons of idols in this country, uh, but there's only been one season of office idols. Do you know that? No. After, yeah. So after the first season of, of idols, um, the franchise had something called office idols. Oh, okay. I don't remember. So now what I'm office... I'm in mean, TSTV that time. Sure. I don't even, Yeah. Yeah. But... <laughs> uh, yeah. Now what's up fools up way? Now, now, now what's up fools are still, you know, trying to get in that pailo kunja. Go, 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 But um, office idol, idols, basically the idea behind office idols is that the idols in a, in a age restriction or for the contestants. I think it's something like you have to be 18 or whatever and maximum 32 or something. Or 80. You know, I don't know the exact. So, um, I think the franchise realized that, hey man, there's a lot of over 30, 32s. That one. Who've got the talent and don't qualify for idols. So they made office idols. But there was only ever one season of that. And the winner of that season of Office Idols is who I'm talking about Lunga Lohatebe LK mm. yeah so um, whatever happened to a lot of the Idols winners bro over the years the only one I remember from back then was a, 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 a guy called Heinz Winkler <laughs> Already, I think Heinz whatever came. happened to Heinz I don't know man you know Heinz, I'm getting my comments I'm here you're probably older now because Heinz I think was our age yeah, yeah, definitely. He's probably in his 40s or something. Definitely. I mean, what? look. Who? Idols, ne? Okay, let's go past Let's leave idols, it. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, yeah. As by, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, have a personal, I have a personal idol story, but... What is your idol story? I, I auditioned for idols. Right? Oh, did you? Yeah, man. Okay. Oh, let me, I might as well come out. Some people know. I auditioned for idols. It's interesting. Azang of Ikren. Can I tell the story? Yeah, tell it. That's what a podcast so, yeah. is for. So yeah, what happened? Telling um, stories. My late brother and cousin, I, had, I was very close. I had a, a, a cousin of mine who passed away September of 2000. And, ooh, can somebody quickly check there? When was the first season of Idols? Um, I forget it's years ago. That's why I'm like... In South Africa. Yeah. Um, yeah, first, first season, season of South African idiots, idols. Sorry, I was 20, 2002, that's 21 years ago, right? So Right after that first season, the following year, September, um, I remember my, I, I, I was working call centers. I was troubled, man, of all, you know, uh, walk, working call centers. I didn't seem to have any direction, you know, as far as my, my, my family, you know, when they viewed me, looked at me. Didn't have direction. And I come from a family of high achievers, you know. My family is, yeah. I, I come serious high achievers. Um, even my dad, high achiever. You know, I grew up when I was as in Duana, you know, 10 years old, I was already flying to Cape Town, you know, flying to Durban, 
because my dad could afford. Yeah, man. Um, so, and then also other family members, my dad's aunts, you know, my, my dad's, yeah, my dad's aunts, uncles, his brothers, sisters, all high achievers, you know. So, there was a, a concern with me um, at that time. Ugutieman, Lomuntulo, Gunzalan, Yabon. And um, my closest friend and brother was a cousin of mine. Technically, it was actually my uncle, Uzantisile, you know, but he was uh, two years younger than me. And my mom had spoken to him and asked him, and he, was, uh, he asked him to come and have a chat with me about, hey, chief, what's going on, brah? You know, what's happening with your life? What are you going to do? I was working in a call center at the time. Um, I'd, in fact, I'd just absconded from multi-choice. I was working at the multi-choice call center, absconded, and then um, just aimlessly wandering, you know, chilling, partying, because, yo, I was a cool kid, you know. Uh, excuse me, silent this. Um, cool kid, I'm friends with, you know, uh, with Bozos, Bokhwaiza, TKZ, you know. I'm friends with these guys, Nyabakena, you know. I know the, the Mandelas, you know what I'm saying? These are people that I, you know, um, the Sisulus, you know. These are people that I'm friends with. Obushaga, Muyikwa, you know, these, these. So, hey, rest in peace, Moe, man. Moe, yeah, rest in peace, you know. So, I'm being a cool kid in town, and then I, t I got a, another job. I think it was at Orton General. I was working at Orton General. My cousin comes to me and is like, Uzandi, and he, uh, he's like, look, your mom spoke to me, and she's worried about you. What are you going to do? At the time, he's about to graduate as an engineer, uh, AUCT. You know, he's talking about, yo, I'm graduating. Uh, X5, I, I think I'm going to buy my first car. I've already gotten an offer, you know, for Hispani. And I haven't even graduated yet. But, you know, I've got offers. I'm so taking X5. You know what I'm saying? And um, he's like, yo, dude, what are you doing with your life, man? Your mom is worried sick. And I was like, ah, I'm fit to I'll figure it out. Something will, you know, will pop. He's like, no, nah, man. Uh, what's happening with the music? What's happening with the music? Because the first thing I did out after high school, I campus. But I used to bank Midrand campus. I used to go to um, Highlands North. Uh, there was um, ooh, the late Isaac Mtetwa, Eugene Mtetwa of Trumpies, his younger brother, had just come back to South Africa um, from the States, and he was a member of a group called Abaketwa, Chosen, which was a gospel group, which had done seriously well in the U.S. So he comes back, he comes back and um, he's looking to, to start his own record label. Um, and then, um, so he, he starts a record label, an independent record label called Vine Records. And, you know, I find out about Isaac through a friend who's like, yo, I met this guy and he's looking for, you know, people who can sing. And I told him about you, call him, I call him. I'm like, yo, man, I'm humming Iwani. I've got, you know, my two comrades, Lungelo and, and Zakane, TK, can come through. So we pull through, you know. And um, um, we were recording, and right there, that's where I met Double HP. Um, Isaac was, um, uh, his fiance happened to be Double uh, HP's um, cousin. And when we walked into Isaac's house, Sino Lungelo, Ulinda, Double HP's cousin, Goes hi and it's like whoa and Linda and and Lungelo know each other and I'm like yo Lungelo who who's this uh, sister you know no sister is uh, Chaba's uh, what you call um, you know older sister cousin yeah one oh okay oh I've heard yeah your mom's with Chaba now yeah one I know Chaba I knew he was at St Albans I was at St John's you know 
So I knew of Jabba at the time. So it's like, yo, oh, okay, that's great. So, you know, then we holler at Jabba and Jabba comes and we're all at Vine. Uh, you know, myself, uh, TK, uh, Double HP, um, Omen. Uh, producer Omen, you know. Shout out to Oza. We yeah, went yeah, to yeah, Vets yeah, Tech together. Yeah, man, you know. We're all there. A vine. A toilet. Uh, with all these dreams. But then, uh, yeah. Um, that didn't work out. So that's your idol story? No, no, no. I'm still coming. I'm oh, building okay. Oh, up. you have not started that. We have any mask of you, dog. Yeah, toilet. Because now, I'm going to sidetrack up because... I'm going to sidetrack. Sure, okay. Sure, okay. So now I'm sitting with my cousin. After all of this. The idol story. He's like, yo, man, what's happening with the music? You know, because you were, a few years ago, you were doing the Vine Records thing. That fell off. Then Sagbona man just so humble. So he said, I'm call sent. Now man just said, call sent. Why don't you do the music thing? So I'm like, uh, ah, no, nah, man, uh, that, that'll come. So born. But man, come in. I just, you know, I felt like I was being sidelined. Why, why do people feel like that? Why do people say things like, Vale, 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 like, well, what, sorry, hold on. I look at it like, why do I have to feel the need that somebody is blocking my opportunities when there's so many people in the world and they are so busy with their things? Who in their right mind is so busy working so hard? You know, I want to tell you something. I think um, I suffered from that for a long time, even up until a few years ago. Even as a, profesh, a professional actor, voiceover artist, I still suffered from that thing. What is it called? Entitlement. There's a level of entitlement that you have. Yes, you, you realize, okay, I have this gifting, but maybe you, 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 you're leaving a few people with a bit of taste in their mouth. And then they decide, I us for whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? So with me, for instance, Evine, I know it was a case of look, forget I, he meant forget no 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 ticket no lunge. Yeah, one. But then Magulibe Hamang is cut is woo. Yeah, man. Yeah, Siakula Siakula Maranyabona, man, good time, man, Lana. One was figure six to see three businesses as a separator. You know the classic story you'll hear of musicians. But like, yo, we came in as a group, but then the people, your producers go, I enter. Like, Beyonce now. Now, na, na, yeah. Now, Beyonce. You're yeah, told. So it was a case of that. Mm. In fact, I then, years later, now I'm an actor, chilling, hungover, um, after a hectic weekend night, you know, chilling with, with, with um, a, a beat maker. And I'm telling beat maker this story. And he goes, can't do it. My other name is Malus. Like you, you're my. I'm like, what? I say, yeah, it's me. He says, no, let me tell you about you, brah. He's like, listen, me, nah. he gives his background. He was, you know, the youngest uh, music exec in, in SA at the age of 22 or something. He had a corner office at EMI or Sony or something, you know, one of the big record labels. So he's like, look, he's sitting in his office and um, Alexis Faku. And some other guys rock up into his office. Now, brown, I'm cool, brown. Yeah. From Selim Matus. Yeah. So rest in peace. So rest. Yeah, one. They rock up to his office and they're like, yo, we've got the next star for you. These are the days of Vine. We've got, we've got the next star. Who? No, here's this girl. Tsagani, TK. She's, yeah, one. So, Pete Maker says, so me, him being, he says, him being, umkaga wase, wase limpopo. That one. Uh, he looks at these two guys. Don't from drop it. Make under the bus. <laughs> no, that's what he said. <laughs> oh, no, this is what he, this is how he okay, tells. Sure. He says, "Me being just a guy. I mean, he's made it in Joburg, but he being aware of where he's from." Uh, I'm looking at these two. Let's sugar with bank. Yeah, tell. Sugar with bank. He parts us with bank, please. And I know. Let's share the bias ganjani. There's no way they can tell me because they're, they're telling him there, we discovered her. He's like, nah, guys. Then he says, they told him, well, actually, there was three of them. This, she's the gem. Lo is the gem. Oi, one boy, Lungelo is, you know, a bit shy. We have to 
work on him. Ya bwana, ushai man up boy. Ya bwana, lungele is very his demeanor is very very shy. And then lo munya was gakulu. So that's why ngavalelo ngapal. So I left Vine and then after that I went and worked in a call center, right? So now fast forward let's do idols. I uh, my brother says to me, "Yo man, um why don't you what's happening with the music?" I'm like, "Ah man, ngiyathonyelwa." Yeah, told. Because I was still trying to pursue it, you know, like I'm saying I'm in the circles. You know, I met you at YFM. If you remember You know, Very well, yeah. And I wasn't even. I think you had dreadlocks at the time or something. Yeah, you know, and bengin pinch, you know, umut bengin amat dreadlocks. Either my dreadlocks or the food. Yeah, it's food. It's food. Over numpemba. Numpemba, yeah. Yeah, tole. So. Bondo is younger brother. Yeah, man. Shout out to Bondo. Good man. Yeah, one. So. Uh, so being having access to the industry, you know what I'm saying? I was always like hollering at people like, "Yo, man, you're not too long far." I said, "I want." And it was it, it just wasn't happening. My time it hadn't happened for me yet, you know. So now when my brothers ask me, "What's happening with the music, bro? You're connected. You know everybody." Yeah, told. Ah, I'm coming at this. Yeah, told. Ah, but I. Then he says, "Why don't you join? Why don't you go for idols?" I was like, "Because I'm not an idiot." And he's like, "What you mean, bro?" I'm like, "Nah, bro." I don't piggy with guy. It piggy with what I do. It's not about talent. You know, and also I think I, Are you serious? It's not about talent. Sir. Uh, you is know, that, is that what it that's, is? That's, that's if, if it's Mzansi? Yes, sir. So Mzan Idols has never been about talent. I can prove it to you. Let me prove it to you how it's not about talent because I went to Idols. I actually because then so so I said to him I'm not going to do it. I'm not an idiot. Like I'm like dude this thing that show's not about talent, bra. I can peep it. I get me na ngazga cool. Mr. Conspiracy. So um we know we we that 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 we were sitting at news cafe at Campus Square, I remember Nozand. That was the last time I chilled with him. Because two weeks later he passed away in a car accident. Mm. My brother, you know, he died. Um and upon his death I I took it hard but then I was like yo and you know and I think the other thing is why I was so arrogant as well because he was so smart and you know engineer what not had he lived I think somewhere I can believe what he died for me not really true but you know but I think that had Uzandi lived and been successful I would have been that uncle is a big room that's my uncle a talented who could, you know who had had it all But it's a big room. It's dawa. Why would you? Why would you say you would have been that? Because that Zandi lived. I just feel that way somehow. Is Because it? his death, his death also made me kind of go, yo, I got nobody else to. Mm. Yeah, one. Mm. I I knew Nyazaz and it as well. I also knew, also knew because I used to look at him. I was like, if shit don't work out, you you gon you, you got my back. Do you know what I mean? I really I know I I had it's 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 a wrong way to think but you know that's just where I was who I was at the time so he passes away and I had this feeling this notion I couldn't prove it with the man idols is cooked so I said I'm not an idiot I don't go into idiots the thing's not about talent he's like what do you mean I was like it's not we argued exactly now see 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 vumela na ngoti Let's agree to disagree. Yeah, Toel. Passes away, and when he passes away, I decide, okay, I'm going to go do this idols thing. Yeah, Toel. At the very least, if anything, to, to honor him. You know. So I go. And the very second season of Idols, I, 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 I joined. You know, I went in. When in uh how far did you go? I'm about to tell you. So I audition, I go for the first round of audition. And when I arrive there, and part of this how I'm telling you is how I see Guti Peggy went of there. So here's what happens when you get to idols. Ni figa ni 5000. Okay? And then what happens is you arrive and you get allocated a room. 
to go and audition. And this shocked me. So then I go and go to humble audition and I walk into this room and I'm expecting to see Randall, uh, Mara, Dave, uh, help me, help me, help me. Help me, guys. I looked down at that time. Yeah, the I very don't first. remember the first Ra- guys. Uh, and, and, yeah, I Randall. I only remember Randall and Mamara. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was Dave, Randall, Mamara, and Gareth. What's was up, Gareth, Gareth there from the beginning? Gareth Cliff. He's my, yeah. From the Gareth. beginning? Yes, sir. Oh, wow, okay. And Colin Moss was the presenter. Colin Moss was the presenter. I remember Colin no, no, Moss. Check this out, buddy. Colin Moss was the presenter. I um, yeah that, that time, man yeah yeah, time, yeah 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 um so I um I go into audition I get I conjure rumin mange ne rumin mshangana no muntu untanga it's not Mara it's not Gareth it's <laughs> not it's not uh, Dave yeah. you know it's what not Randall. So uh, now, now again, I saw a boy and I saw a boy mama. Ra, we want to join them as. We want to come here and talk. Who you want? Who says I want? Okay. Again, cool. Angstem. That's all. Mara no, it's about buy a rock. You understand? We're a lot of kids, right? Thousands of us at Gold Reef City. We want to stem. Mag stem. So, yeah, one. Me na maging stema ung chulo gut okay. Buyak sasa. Yeah, one. Eh, sasa, you are going to audition for the big guys, Randall. You know. Uh, oh Mara, no, no. Garrett. Maybe that's a that's a form of. Uh, yes, it is of of of, of filtering. Yes. So now it's ngoboni is get the filtering as well. Uguti. It's not fully about talent, because here's what happened. What I noticed during that filtering. I'm not singing a panda song, but you know, we're all kids. We're here at a singing competition. So what's happening outside? Everybody's singing. Right? So if everybody's singing, you also pick up who really can blow and who really can't. So when you are a maralo yourself. So check us out. You're picking up who can blow and who can't. Right? Um, then you also realize, Guti, look, Idols has... The wooden mic, part of the show, especially at the beginning, is about the wooden mic. So, born ke labantu laba abas abas otishnai. Yin kren sharp i mandate yabo. What is their mandate? Ugun sefa gut laba ba yekaya, laba ba yagu wooden mic. Laba they move on to the next round. But now, sefa ganjan. Let me tell you how it works. It's this: they get given this mandate. Lalela. When day one, because those those judges. Are there just for the first two days, ne? or that first day, day one? You are going to see a hundred kids. No matter what, and it's 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 a lack of the draw, right? The first ten who can actually sing, pull them through. From you, Sifuna, just ten. The rest that you put through. Make sure Abagwazi Ugutula. Because that's how you make the show. Proof of it. Let me show you why there were kids. I can imagine the instruction. Make sure they can't sing. But yeah, no. Umfetu. Lalela, Espanini. You take care. Utati Spani, you sign on my dignity forms, sign on with Lalela talk. Your contract is this, sign this contract. You're not allowed to divulge what not. So wooden mic is the ones that would obviously be so, in- entertaining for the viewers. Yeah, boo. Mm. Now to get those people, what these, the, the, the unofficial judges, their job is to, f- is to filter the wooden mics to the judges so that we have a show. Mm, I get you. So let me tell you what I noticed as a kid auditioning that very first day. So you noticing so because it's a competition. Now we ulalelo funukbon gut e uban competition yami so. Do you know what I'm saying? 
So then you, 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 you pick out people. You hear, you're like, yo, hey, he's good. He's nice. He's nice. She's dope. She, you know what I'm saying? And then on that very first day, you're seeing talented kids, kids who you think, yo, that guy is even better than me, crying. They didn't even get to go and sing for Mara, Randall, uh, Gareth, and Dave. It's cooked. So right there already, for me, that's first sign of, it's cooked. So if they can cook it then, right, at the later stages, right, the powers that be, we know what we want. We're going to put money into these kids, into this winner. And then, say pega. It's cooked. And then, how far did you go? So, this is how far I go. So, I go in. The, the random judge says, Come through, come back tomorrow and come and audition for, um, for, for the main judges. Mbuya the next day. Masingbuya footing bwana uta ingbuya for the for 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 the main judges. Mpele limpincha u u uandi. Uh, rest in peace. Lockshin culture. Dima- yeah. Nzimand. Nzimand. Yeah. Rest in peace, bro. I miss you, man. You know, I I, I hollered wandi. I'm like, yo, put me on. Ankai ihudi lockshin culture because lockshin culture was the you know, I go in there looking fresh, feeling fresh, bro. You know, wearing you know my. White tennis, you know, leather tennis sneaks, you know, nice, you know, jeans, baggy jeans, hoodie, a cream. I can still remember, bruh. A luxury culture. Mfige, mfige was six. Plomile, ra. Excent. Excent. Mfige was six. Kaung plome, ng plome di yele da. At. Oma half past five. I'm half five. Long a solution. I am now finally sitting uh, a queue in. Mchiza queue in, ne? Ladel. Mchiza queue in, kau. And then mind you, that second day as well, the corner na banya still by out tishina to for the random yabon. So I'm watching tears, but it's taking forever, dog. Maziti sing chiz manj, and I'm about. Ten, number ten. Yeah, one. Eight, ten. Before we came. Here's the OB truck. Now I'm calling Moss. Yeah, twelve. People, kids are nervous. Yeah, twelve. So here's the lapo. Kuna ni nintu ane here's inga igi mi. He's wearing his Sunday best. He's from the Northern Cape. Can't sing. You know, he's a wooden mic case. You know what I'm saying? Um, chasing a piggy, little lentuana, yam sizzle, a foot, you know. I went. When it is young, that Sakas Ganjal, Gupume Ukareth. Gareth walks out and goes, and we're not expecting, right? Showtime. Showtime. Gareth comes out and goes, you know, people going through the scales, you know. For fuck's sakes, please do us a favor. Guys, there's very few of you left here, right? Now, if you know you can't sing, Please do us a favor and go home right now. It's been a long day and we've just had to put up with nonsense. Karen says that. He's, cameras are rolling, buddy. We, we just had to pull up with just absolute nonsense. I mean, why are you here if you know you can't sing? Psyching the kids out. It's all a psychological game. And everyone, and literally, you can hear a pin drop and it's... And I go, ooh, you poor baby. How about you go back inside and do what you're paid to do and leave the rest of us to do what we're here to do, try our luck. 
I'm Komba, live. What? Couldn't believe it. I was like, yeah, you heard me. Back inside. Back inside. Everyone now is like, whoa, dude, where do you get the balls to do that? What the hell? Shift, shift, shift. So shift, Angelo, Spuda. Man, ain't he? I'm going to tell you one of the things, and the lights restricted area. Come on. Restricted area, it's the OB truck. You're told. plastic on the floor. You're told. And then I loudly, I go, ah, man, now I wonder why this guy, this Gareth Cliff here, thinks he can come out here as a Kumanati, however he likes. You're one. Now I wonder why this guy's doing this. What are my drugs? What are my drugs with the production? You said that. Yo, dog. What are my drugs with the production? Everyone's like, what the hell are you talking about, bro? Yeah, look at that. What's that? You in the plastic. You in the Sunday pest. Go pick that plastic up here. Bring it here. You'll see. You're going to see there's a powder there. And on VAR, I'll touch plastic art. I'll let it need look. And they don't even share. Yo. 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 Well, the way I figure, because now I also know the film industry, oh, yeah. one, maybe a crew member. Oh, yeah. one 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 it could be, it could be Colin himself. It no, could have been a crew member. No, 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 we would party. We, we had access to all the, the hot parties in town, right? We didn't own a house, but we in Tuana, right? Either we go to the because Mpemba's parents had passed, so they were living at Deep Kloof. So we'd go there, we after party there, yeah, one. Or party, 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 and then Sbambe, Spelileva, EYFM. Sio Plomara, Ngoba, in, Siaz, Tina, Siachava, Siachava, Ubondo, Bayangi, Nixin. Yeah, twelve. So, so I was looking about three, four. We want a moshai, 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 crazy, crazy. No, not. That's where I met you. Because we would come after the party, go to YFM Studios. Because we know Guti. As na moto foot, ang it. But we tell whoever's fine now. I don't know. I party masay peli la sine YFM so plomanda spetis pinza. Yeah, twelve. Then si plome e YFM. Silindu bondo oguta fige ashai shifti akikseni and then singe ne motu ni sekas. So exposed to the drugs. So let me tell like you a that. story that I think I might have told the story either twice or thrice in the industry, but I've never mentioned <laughs> the <laughs> name. Okay, sure. <laughs> okay. So I'm like, they don't even share. Yeah, one. I'm showing you last the plastic. Hey, talk about what people tell you out here. Who are the people? Yeah, one. I'm feeling that. I see, I see, I see. Again. Mangena, I, I believe, I, I haven't religiously followed idols, you know, since then. I think the only one that I actually did watch was the first season that I did watch. Um, but Mangena, I believe that without having watched all the others since I auditioned, and even since the first one that I did watch, I would like to think that I'm probably... Because given the format of the show, I'm the only person who's ever sang two songs from start to finish on Idols. At that, where the stage where they're giving away the, the golden ticket. Labati, okay, you got the golden ticket, you're going to Sun City, right, for the top 100. So that's where I auditioned. Ngangena, 
Ngatula two songs from start to finish. Let me tell you why. Because the format, the way the show works, is that you go in there, the judges listen to you, and if you're good, right, they'll either let you finish your song because you, you're that good and they like you, right? Or even if you, you know, and, and then say, okay, you got the golden ticket. And sometimes even cut you off or go, it's fine. You got the golden ticket. You're nice, right? But if you're bad, right, they, they let you go on and, and, and do the thing, you know. You know, and then, oh, please, enough already. Oh, I, I can't take it anymore. Oh, oh. You know what I'm saying? Okay? So I go in. And, um, Mbabulis, I'm going to do a Stevie Wonder classic. So I sing, and I'm like, I see us in the park, strolling those summer days of imaginings in my head, and words from my heart. Yeah, boy. I finish the song. I don't want to bore you with it. My troubles, yeah. Dave goes. Um, you know, um, I'm not sure. You know, um, Last year, or, or rather, the first, the first uh, season, our first season of 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 of, of idols, we had um, an Indian chap. Um, I don't know if you remember him. Uh, he was blind. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I remember him. Don't, just don't remember his name. It's like, yeah, yeah, that guy. Um, yeah, he um, he sang Stevie Wonder. And, uh, you know, we weren't sure about him. But because he sounded so much like Stevie Wonder, we decided to, uh, to give him a chance and then put him through. And I go, all right, uh, look, with all due respect, no, I remember the guy you're talking about. He didn't sound like Stevie Wonder. Nobody sounded like Stevie Wonder. I certainly wasn't trying to sound like Stevie Wonder. I was just doing a Stevie joint. Now what? Randall. Randall goes. Mm. <laughs> Are we you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You um, know. There's something um, that I can't quite put my finger on there's something I can't quite put my finger on um, your voice there's something um, very nasal about your voice when you sing and, uh, and I'm like excuse me like yeah there, I'm like oh, uh, are you insinuating that when I sing I am resonating from my head rather than from here yes yeah, so that's exactly what I mean I'm like, no, Mr. Abrams, you will excuse me, me and all my fellow contestants here today. Because, Mr. Abrams, in actuality, we are slap bang in the middle of winter right now. Right? I personally have been outside since 6 a.m. this morning waiting to sing for you. We, as the contestants... It being winter, we are on all sorts of lozenges, throat medications, fighting off flus. So if I sound a little bit nasal, you'll excuse me, sir. Orlando. Gareth. I don't like you. You know too much. <laughs> Second time, what do I know too much? That's how you didn't get through in your idol story. Wait. My favorite. Mamara. You know, you children, you know, when we take you and put you on an aeroplane and, and we take you to, to, to JFK, 
right? They, they don't want to see another American wannabe. You know, they want to see a boy. What's your name? Oh, my Lucy. Oh, from, oh, from where? From Rockville. Yeah, they want to see someone from Rockville, damn it. So Ngapagati, as she's doing that, I'm like, oh, so you want to put me on a plane and take me to <laughs> the U.S., you know? I'm like, okay, Ma, with all due respect, I think I hear what you're saying, but um, coming in to sing for you guys, I was torn between two songs. The song that I've just sang, Yabo, and um, another song, which is incidentally an African jazz standard. And when I said those words, I see her face light up. Right? Then she goes, and they, they, yeah, and I say, I was torn between the song I just sang and doing an African jazz standard. But just before I came in, I looked at my indemnity form and I decided to look at the fine print. And the fine print for this competition clearly states you may not sing in any language other than English. You still remember these things after so many years. Let's keep it moving and, Buddy. Get, into, and get into acting. So then, yeah. Otherwise, the whole episode will be yeah, about yeah, but idols, yeah. you know? But, but yeah, so, so that's... You, then, so then what happened, so to close it? Yeah. Then she says, okay, not to say that you can, but what is that other song that you are not... Not that you must sing it. I just want to know what the name of the song is. I'm going to sing him. I'm going to sing uh, I didn't say the talent. I just I didn't say the title of the song. I just broke into song. Sang in chilo and chilo till the end. Ngai vala. Ngai kula ngai kala ngai keta. Dave. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Randall. Gareth. I still don't like you. So I can't help you. Mara. I'm sorry, my baby. What's my take out on that? You see my little shameful and here yeah, i'm saying I, I, I don't say this i'm not telling the story with any sort of pride my shameful behavior you know for the youth especially who are watching you know don't emulate the nonsense that i did don't take drugs guys you know um but what i think no, what i'm pretty sure happened because this is a big production we're in a control room let's stand some some apparently they basically went, listen, Lindana Lemangena, we don't care how good he is. He could be the next Michael Jackson as him fund. But you understand, Wuti, I performed American style. Because I then I, I did something that gets done later in the competition. Do you see what I'm saying? Because generally at that stage of the competition, they even cut you off. But okay, sharp, you've got the golden ticket. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving for time. Once they then come in and then say, okay, we want you to sing this genre, do this, do this, do that. In my one audition, I did two genres, start to finish, and killed it. Because I mean... Say that again and expand on the message for young people. The... the, 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 the the do not the do's the don'ts of the industry not only in singing because you've also been a successful actor because yes. it's a small industry especially in Zanz. you know in anything in life it's not just for the for for um entertainment industry in anything and everything in life what goes to about goes a long way humility humility humble yourself no matter how talented you are, no matter how good they tell you you is, and you know it, right? Yeah, you're that good, but remember, that good that you are, 
is a gift. You were gifted that by the Most High. So zitobe. Ihambelana no shonipa umama no baba uguze into uguza kozande. So zitobe. Don't be entitled. I suffered for that. So, you know, I displayed that behavior early on as a young, very young man. And throughout my career as a successful actor, I've got many shameful moments of just losing it and being entitled. And, and then also I got frustrated within the industry because partly because of my entitlement, but then also partly because the industry is rigged. It is. You know, the entertainment. Well, Chief, now we're moving into the acting. What is the biggest complaint of South African actors? Open the industry. Not just, no. Open up the industry, right? No. And how would you be able to even open the industry? Do you know why the industry is closed? Do you know why? Is it even closed? I didn't know. It's, It's closed and it's not. It's it's a it's a weird sort of thing. You know, if they say it's closed, I mean, I've always believed to you know. Or no, yeah, I know. No, that, you know. Am, that's true. I've never had chains in my mind. You're putting value on or the industry. Feel, and Spuda, this is why. This is why I mean, I've always. You know it. You know what I'm saying? From from the from the jump, I knew you before. Everyone knew you. Before back in the day, I remember. Yeah, sure. but I picked it's even the spring. Sure. I was born at 80. I was born at 80. I was big pants. I was big pants, Elena. And, and then you went on to super, you know, to do the things you did. I wasn't surprised. I wasn't shocked. I get you. Yeah, at all. But then, so, the, but then but you've got parents that are watching now. What does it mean when he says the industry is rigged? Because all of our kids want to be in this industry. So, okay, let me give a disclaimer. Um, before I answer that question, well, sort of disclaim what's happening with me. Fast forward. I've um, semi-retired from acting. If it's retired is the word. No, I still love. I love. I love the form, but I've been turning down work for the last two years. Yeah, I don't. I I've stopped thugging. One for me. I refuse. The, the work that I'm known for, majority of it, majority of the work that I've done as an actor, I'm no longer taking those briefs anymore because um, I think the industry is complicit. Uh, our entertainment, music, and uh, you know, television, acting industry is complicit Lest I sound ungrateful, but, you know, for, you know, the hand that fed me. Uh, but Benghazi, now my, I had my, my eyes, I was dreaming. I believed the, the cool aid, the Hollywood, you know, you know, Oscar Hollywood. And I came in believing that. And then once in a I then realized, which, you know, the industry perpetuates the problems we are seeing within our communities and society. We glorify gangsterism, right? The, the, the image of the, the so-called black man on TV and the black woman, the black people, is very negative. I'm not the first person to say this. So, I am no longer participating I refuse to participate in that. I've done it. It's enough. It's enough. Um, my own, I have a six-year-old daughter. I'm, she, she don't watch TV. Certainly not the mainstream TV. I, I really filter what she watches. For the longest, people who know me, like, closely know one thing about me. Over 10 years, I haven't had a TV in my house. When you come and visit me, the one thing you notice is there's no TV. Dude, why am I TV lately? We don't do TV in this house. I'd rather have a projector 
Yeah, man, I choose what I want to watch. But the programming, no. Never. So my kids, you know, my, my daughter's six years old. I've got a six-month-old baby boy. Congratulations, bro. Thank you. Bro. <laughs> Beautiful. Praise God. So you've got two now. Praise yeah. yeah. Well Praise done, yeah. my brother. Congrats, bro. Um, and uh, I won't let them consume. Because whether we want to admit it or not, you see... The big wigs at the top, they know the, the influence. That's why we're called influencers. Because the content that is produced influences you. What you consume is going to, inf is going to influence how you think. How you think is going to influence what you do, what you become. What you become will determine the results you get. Now, let's look at our community, our people, so-called black people. What results do we really have as a people majority? Let's not look at the, the, the ones who make it, which are, you have to nitpick. Needle in a haystack. The haystack is stinking. And entertainment is ain't helping. Would you let your kids join the industry? Um, here's what I say. I mean, like, right now, I, I even have cousins who are at AFTA, you know, kids who want to, you know, family who are saying, yeah, I want to get in. And even kids that I just meet, you know, randomly, who come up, and I say, look. What would you like to say to these to, to this group of um, young yeah, people yeah, that's yeah, around here? Yeah. yeah, here's what I want to say. you in the industry. Yeah. What I want to say is, look, so specifically, e even behind the scenes, but specifically in front of camera, kids come to me and they're like, yo, I want to act. I'm like, oh, really? You want to be an actor? What do you want to act exactly? Do you want to act or do you want to be a star? Do you want to be famous? From my celebrity. Right? One. Make sure. Is that what you want? And then two, uzo ekta ini. By Uzo Ekta In, who's writing the stories that you're acting? Who's producing them? And for what motives? To what end? I'm ashamed and I repent. I I've made it right. I've said sorry to the one we all have to answer to for my part in the mess that we're in. So I would say to kids who want to get in, I'm like, yo, um, one, put God first. Put Yahuwah first. The God of truth, the God of love, the God who never lies. No, no, not never lies. The God who can't lie. Not doesn't, not never, not won't. The one who can't lie. Put that God first. The God whose word never goes out and comes back empty. The, whose word always comes back fulfilled. Put him first. And then... If you're really gifted at this, you have a gift of writing or whatnot, right? Then ask him, his Holy Spirit, to guide and influence your gifting, your wanting to work in this industry, and make um, and create. Be, don't 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 join the industry to to get a job. Come into the industry to create, right? To create. Umsebenzi and content that is Osaka, is Owaka Umpagati, that will edify young minds and old minds, because Lord knows even the older minds are in need of serious edification. That is my advice. How does one get oh, into no. acting? Apart from getting a, an agent, is that the only way? That is not the only way. That is not. Um, Obviously, you, you can be spotted. 
You can be Sparta. You can, you I mean, now you know you 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 open editions. Social you know, media also. Social media now people is, is act another on their way. Phones. People are acting on their phones. It's nice. giving you know the phones have you know opened it up like that. Nice. Um, so there's more ways now that now kids can get in, right? Yes. Yeah. Which then you see now, and and all of that is now nullifying those of us who then go to school varsity to go study for this or to go study arts. I didn't study acting at varsity. I, st- I majored as a jazz voice, you know, but, you know. Um, so that's how you get into it. There's a lot of things I feel, there's people like me who've had a great successful career in music, but I never went to school for music. But you've got people who went to school for years and people exactly. who've got degrees who are properly trained. But <laughs> It's the same with the industry where a lot of actors are complaining about people who come through social media. Yes. With a lot of numbers. Yeah. Who get put into shows. Exactly. Who are not as talented as them, maybe even. Hey, man. Yes, there are some talented kids out there, There's some talented kids out there, definitely. But there's a lot of them who are just put on because of their clout, right? I'll tell them, either for clout, but let me tell you something. Also for, we don't know what other people do behind closed doors. Because, listen, before even... And, and let's talk a bit about that because you've got young girls. I've, I've got a... Jana, I want I've got a, a I'm going to go here and I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not going to say the name, but... If and I know you, we don't have a long if, time. If we're slim. Yeah. Listen, even before social media, there were people who were put on and you ask yourself, Guti, Jani, because you whack. You, you can't act. Sister. We, we have. We, 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 we got... Okay, let's speak positive as much as possible. But there's people who there's nothing the wrong, industry man. there's nothing wrong. Everybody knows. I yeah, mean, there's, there's people knows, who yeah. the industry have propped up, told, oh, he's great or she's great and she's this and she's so wonderful and she's this. Umuntahambe, I am America Shulek. There's not too many, but we know you even can even singers, about. even uh, even here on local platforms. Umuntu Tolema Oscar, not not yeah. Yeah, even here. But it's, peop- but it's a hustle, though. It is a hustle, but what I'm trying to say is, so, you know, okay, let me tell you my personal story as well. Um, I, because of linking I am, that I, linking that I, that I've had, I became an actor. Fast forward, uh, 2005, when I become an actor, my first agent... Uh, Anna Carilla Atherfold, she's late. May her soul rest in peace. Um, I leave her agency to go join Mooney and Lee because I'm I'm unhappy there because Nakwan because of this isn't just a new because I also want to say with Mooney passed on eh? yeah Mooney also well, passed may her soul rest, in, may peace, her soul rest yeah. in peace as well. Uh, but no Mooney, so we 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 are constantly when as Buddha. Um, one of the other issues I was saying, so we still haven't even answered the question I asked. Yoguti, what is the biggest complaint with, with the acting that actors complain about? It's not about opening the industry or gungena, abantu who are not qualified, who are not really actors because of, you know, I'm a clout abu. That's not the biggest issue. The biggest issue, right, with the acting industry? Money, right? We're not compensated. So it is... Listen, man, let me tell the kids another thing. Listen here, look at me. You become an actor in this country. A street cleaner or sebenzela umaspala has more rights than you and me. Okay? Somebody who's sweeping the streets, Epsugu Silele, has more rights, recourse. In as far as their job, what they're doing. You are, I mean, that person is honestly trading their time, right? Their time and physical energy to, for money. And it's a, it's a fair trade. You know what I'm saying? They're not very skilled, but you know what I'm saying? And still, Ngalapo, if CCMA. How do we fix it? Well, once again, I'm going to go back and say, you, you see, the problem is the industry, the industry uh, at large, at large, it serves the, the prince of darkness. 
So we need to put Yahuwah first. That's how we fix it. That's how we fix anything. Put God first. So um, the issue is you need to understand that my line of work as an actor, as a musician, that's the smart line of work, right? That, that's, that's, you suppose, that's, what, that's a guarantee wealth because you know why. This is what you do. You work today, you record, right? You record, and then you get paid, but then afterwards, so that you look seven. You get paid and you keep getting paid, you keep getting paid, keep paid, getting paid, getting paid, getting paid. What? This is this is what's called royalties. South Africa, we don't get that. There's the exploitation, the Dr. big exploitation. John Carney spoke about that when he was here. Yeah. It was one of the biggest episodes. Yeah. Acting. Actually, that's an acting ma- master class. If you haven't watched that, guys, go check it out. An episode we did with the, doc- the great Dr. John Carney. Okay. He spoke about from then, he did contracts with what they call points mm. and with royalties. And he was telling us that he's still getting paid off royalties of movies he did back in the 70s. We the 70s. are not. Mena. But if he is South African and he can be able to get such deals, you know, what's stopping everybody else? Uh, because, no, there's, there's a concerted effort from the top to what's stopping everybody else. Have you seen the contracts that actors get given in this country? No. Thank you. Perhaps if you knew, if you knew the contracts that we get given with the addendums that get put on it, the basic contract, when you read it, right, is open. Like a contract for negotiation and for, you know, to negotiate your things. Then they go addendum A, addendum B, addendum C. <laughs> I've even seen contracts with addendum D. And every addendum on that contract is just squeezing the life out of you, bro. Okay? So, you're right. You know, Krista Schumberg, I love her. Taught me something. If you don't ask, you won't get. You see? If you don't ask, you don't get. So that's the other thing. So you've got to prove as well now. You, you need to prove yourself in South Africa that I'm really that good. And then once you're good, then you need to now learn negotiation skills. How to, you know, you need to, how to learn how to position yourself and, and, and negotiate. State your case. Make, 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 make a, a commercial argument. Legal jargon. Right. So um, unfortunately though, the opportunity to do that for most of us actors, Aiko, and the way it's structured. This industry is made, you, you, you're made to feel like you're being done a favor. You're made, and this very thing, you know, um, uh, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. So you're made to think, we can replace you, manji, food. Right? And the other thing is, if you try and stand up, and go, no, I won't, right? Kono Munya, who's in line, just waiting to be on TV. We just want to be on the TV. So, if Ukulu decides, Uguti, I'm not going to do it. It's It's like, oh, I'm going to do it. But for you, Ukulu, we're going to offer you 2,000 rand a call for this thing. Call rate is 15,000 a call. Plus, Mfuna, irresistible. Or if royalty, you buy out because the contract, there's some in that contract, it says that it speaks of buying out. But Masibafaga ma attend them and whatnot. They're cancelling out. Won't get listen to them buy out. That's all. So I'm saying if you're not gonna pay me 15k plus royalties, it's okay, yeah, sharp. Based on this contract, I'm gonna get it here. Lana, I'm gonna get buy out. Buy out in okay. I'm gonna two million, two meter. for the job. justified ganja No, fifteen, twenty years from now, from this. It's, it's a drop in the ocean. It's a drop in the ocean. And kind of So two meter at least. More you two meter Antoine. At least man, you are into zako. And if slim. Yeah, one. Now they own you. We talk to one with the industry. I'm not my royalties when I'm supposed to be getting royalties. But at least bank guy, yeah, one interest to the nyana. It's in touch. Some of them you, unkaleni, unkaleni lokunja. Ikhir. Yeah, one. 
Ngale something else ngiye ne somewhere else ngiyenze something yabona ngipheka bosibungu idama ne nami man yabona awuthi ngibhelele usibungu idama man sibupheka man ngiphe 200000 ngicela ku invest la ku move file you know what i'm saying you could do that the things you could do but ayikho inyuku to do that which is why you know i'm grateful for just recently i've just been introduced to network marketing i don't know why bengilele oh ngiyazi yabona le attitude yami le bengihlupha idols in Klupang, Sevine Records, Young Klupa, because even, I think matric or first, or just... Network a, marketing is a lot of money. Buddy, I'm coming there. Oh, and boy. Basafiga, I'm American. I'm American, one man, you're part of me now. It's also because a lot of the... I didn't get it. The amazing money-making programs, a lot of people look at it with the one lens of the yeah. pyramid screen. I missed it. So we always say it's a pyramid screen yeah. and dismiss it. If I missed it. Without first understanding. Yeah, I missed it, Amway. Didn't get it. So what are Is you doing now? God? What opportunities do you have now? Uh... IFA. C- can you talk about you, it? Oh, IFA, yeah. I've IFA. heard of IFA, yeah. You, you, know, you, heard of, of, you, you endorse, buddy. I've heard a lot of people who've made, they booked me for one of their events. And by the way, thank you very much for the booking. Me. Yeah. I did not endorse the company. I did endorse one in, one event, yeah. Yeah, you did. No, but I mean, see, what I'm trying to say, you, you, you're you continuing. No, I was booked. I was given the money. And, and I saw great things happen. Well, I saw a lot of people getting rewarded, winning cars, people winning 500,000, 1 million. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. You I know was, what I mean? I, so I was at the IFA. <laughs> it's, uh, a, it's a very big company. National Awards. It's clientele. Very, I was there. I was there. This, 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 this. Nam benda. Ngai bona yonke that thing. But what I'm trying to say is, so I mean, I once now I decided, last year, saying one would, oh, it's been a single infant. You want my voice. as want few and few. Yeah, they're not maintaining my lifestyle. Okay, I get that you. That's so last year, I a colleague of mine at Generations invites me to an IFA meeting, and I got introduced to the world of network marketing. You're gonna make a lot of money there, bro. Um, and then so I've started with IFA. I'm cute now. And this does the trading as well. You have to learn as much as you can. As I, IFA is a very multiple. big company. It's. I think they. Aren't they a part of clientele? It is a part of clientele. Oh, it it's a, a division. Clientele, it is a right? division. It is clientele. They are clientele. And I mean, there's a video of yours that's going around the uh, the, the the IFA circles, uh, Mr. Liope. Now, now. it's, it's always let yeah, me see. always. Oh, yeah, okay. But I mean, I it? because it's you, it I I. I'm it's I'm I'm it's content. For event, guy. Well, I am. No, but I'm it's it's content. Yeah, I'm to 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 encourage people who are who are joining the business more. So when they see. Oh, I remember this one, yeah, yeah. So, so it doesn't get old. You get older, but this the is, video is fresh. doesn't. Yeah, it's constantly fresh. That's why it's also very important the type of deals that you do in this modern day age, because I can see if they're still using the video now and it's old, but I was only paid once. It makes sense what you're talking about acting and royalties. So IFA, I'm coming knocking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> There's still so Good much. Deal. There's, there's so still much. so much to talk about. Yeah, the tapes are gone. The time is gone. Um, since shy almost two hours. <laughs> there's still we have not covered a lot, but we're already on almost two hours. So it's cut this vile. So boy, so boy, for okay, because I got like I mean I've there's I, stories and I'd like for us. I to haven't talk even. About, we have not even started. I haven't going to what I prepared for you. Ah, come on! But I mean, hey, we'll I love get, it. We'll get into it the next. No, time. no, no. We will. I, I, I fully appreciate. Because you're a good storyteller, and I appreciate it. Because for me, Nang Chunela for Indo you know, it's important for them to hear these stories, bro. Very important. 